We will start off this episode by hosting PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, in the third match day of the group stage of the Champions League. The group stage in which we are sitting pretty at the bottom of the table with only one point. So a win here is of absolute must. Then we will travel all the way to London and play against West Ham, who are currently fourth. Hey guys, it's JD and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome back to another episode of Rex to Riches, a football manager story. We're here in Birmingham, England with our mighty Aston Villa. And since the last time you and I were together, I've only played one game of camera, which was against Sheffield United. We won 3-0. We did not concede for the second time in a row in the league. Actually, for the third time in a row in the league. Uh, because we didn't concede against Leeds, we didn't concede against City, and we didn't concede against Sheffield United. Uh, the goals in the Sheffield United game were, came from Daido, Avellino, Marco Avellino and Tanalia in the 72nd minute. We are currently sitting pretty in third position with a game in hand on Man United and Liverpool. If we win our game in hand, we will go up to 22 points, so we'll be one point off Liverpool who are currently topping the table. But for now, we have to look at this table over here because, yeah, we've... After two games, you only have one point in the Champions League group stage. And today we're going to play uh, the team who is currently leading the, the group, Paris Saint-Germain. And uh, it's not going to be easy, man. It's not going to be easy because they still have very good players. I mean, they always have very good players. They have the spending power and whatever. Uh, but it's uh, a win today. It's of absolute must. We need to win it. No matter what, we need to win it. We've got some players who came back from injury, Christian, Avellino, but we have Daido and Tanalia who are currently injured. So Marcelo will play on the left and Aldo will play on the right. Leo Zao, Williamson will, uh, will be in the heart of defense. Um, Vibora will play on the, on the left because Clemens is injured and he has it for two months basically. Orecchia on the right, Aldo on the right, Pinero behind Marco and Otavio. Now, let's hope for the best, guys, because we need to win it. We need to win it, no matter what, no excuses. This is a must-win game. Hopefully, um, I don't know what's best, if Schalke and Roma draw or Schalke win. I don't know, basically. I don't know, I don't know what's best. What I know is that we have to win this game, no matter what. And uh, off we go. Good luck, everybody, because we will need it. Um, yeah, pick up from where you left off last time. I know they're a very good team. We spoke into the press and off we go. Good luck, everybody, because we need bags of go good luck today. Bags of good luck. Pinero with the corner. Now we have failed to win against Schalke home. So, um, yeah, we know how good we can be at home, guys. We've smashed Chelsea, we've smashed Man City. But um, in this group stage of the Champions League, we're finding it hard. So let's see. Highlight Paris Saint-Germain with Sancho to Cortez. Adamson on the left. He's trying to find space to cross. He actually got into the box. Pen. Oh my god, no. I thought he would give out the pen there. Now we can counter with Pinero. Gives it to Marco. Marco. Marco shoots. And the keeper Bayic. They just got their new keeper. This guy Bayic. They bought him off for 60 million or 65 from Inter Milan. He was on my radar, but I, I'm not ready to spend that kind of money on a keeper, basically. I'm quite happy with Durin. Um, he served us well since day one he joined. This is his fifth season, because he was one of the first players we brought in when we took charge. Okay, so now Schalke are losing. 
we hopped to third position highlight 29 minutes it's a very balanced game up till now two highlights one for us one for them this is the third one Jose Antonio Jose Antonio who's wanted by Paris Saint-Germain by the way Orecchia lovely pass to Aldo Aldo with the cross Ah, uh, Otavio got anticipated there. Schalke are losing home. Come on, guys, come on. I mean, we've been the better team. Five shots on target. They have a better possession than us with 53%. But they haven't had a shot on target. Gerasimov, Adamson to Cabore, Gerasimov again, Mbappe, nice, oh my lord man, Williamson, what the fuck have you done, he anticipated, the, he, he anticipated Mbappe, and instead of clearing the ball, he played it back to Duren, and he played it short, Look at that. He was like miles before Bappe there. He could have kept the ball, turned around and started the counter-attack. But he chose to play it on Duren. And he played it short. <sighs> Come on. 43 minutes. Probably the last highlight of the first half. Orecchia. Come on. Crosses it in, someone taps it in, for Christ's sake, man. Williamson. Another highlight, Balic. To the Licht, to the Young. Sancho. Opens on the right to kill Mbappe. Mbappe gives it to Cabore. No, this is not looking good, and... <laughs> Own goal by Leo Zao, man. Ooh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be so flipping hard, man. I'm gonna throw a bottle, man. I mean, seven shots on target they had. They had one and they scored. I don't know how they scored two with one shot on target, but anyway. <laughs> the mystery of football manager. La Vibora there clears the ball. The Licht does the same thing, but he gives it to Antonio. Antonio tried to find Otavio. The pass got intercepted. Now Sancho to Gerasimov. Oh, come on, man. Okay, keeper. The keeper had it covered there. This is not the end of the highlight. Again, we play it long. This time, Aldo finds Otavio, enters the box. Can he shoot? He does, and he scores. Come on, he gets one back. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Skip the highlight. Demand more. Pineiro. With the wrong pass, they play it all the way to Balic, their keeper, the Ligt. Mbappe, oh my god. Every time he touches the ball, man, it's magic. Ooh, goes wide, goes wide, come on. Come on. Can I demand more again? Come on. Do it. Uh, I'm gonna put Gellert in for Avellino. And uh, Jose Antonio is leaving and Silva will go in. 
What happened to the highlights game? No highlights now. After that goal, they had one highlight and that's it. No more highlights. Come on. Lovely pass from Pinero to Aldo. Come on, Aldo again. He shoots and he scores. Come on, it's 2-2 two -two game on. 2-2 two -two game on with like 15 minutes left on the clock. Can we win it now? Can we win it now? Come on, game. Give us one more highlight. Come on, game. Give us one more highlight. Give us one more tease. Tease us, game. Come on. Come on. Come on. The players are dead. Look. Come on. Five minutes of injury time. Give us a highlight. Come on, game. No. Well, at least we salvaged the point, guys. And they've done brilliantly to come back, I must admit. Because we were the best team on the pitch with like 10 shots on target. They only had one shot on target and they scored two. So, yeah. Probably it's because uh, the second goal was given as a known goal by Leo Zhao. That's why. Anyway, off to London. Off to play West Ham. See you there. Okay, guys. So, I made some changes <coughs> um, in the first, in the starting eleven from the previous game so first of all i dropped vibora and i've put arche in daido's back although he's not fully fit but we're gonna give him a give, we're gonna give him a try right lauren silva comes in for uh, what's his face um antonio aldo stays but tenalia's back um tenalia is not fully fit but he should be fit very 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 soon Pineiro stays, Marco Antonio, Marco Avellino stays, and Luis Otavio stays. I've dropped Williamson because I didn't like that mistake he did. And I've put Elmo in. So Elmo and Liazao, the Brazilian tandem in defense. And it's not going to be an easy game. Away to West Ham, who are currently fourth. Now, elsewhere, Liverpool are playing the Liverpool derby against Everton away. And Man United are going all the way to Newcastle. So two not easy games for Liverpool and Man City, Man United as well. Um, hopefully, they can both drop points and we can win. That would be nice. That would be nice. Anyway, let's do it. Um, I fully expect you to win. Whatever. Go ahead. I mean, um, we were unlucky like against PSG. Like I got really, I got mad basically, but. Uh, even with the players, but it, when when I threw a bottle at, at, in, uh, <laughs> in the halftime talk, whatever, but it, it served because they came back and they scored twice. Now uh, let's see how can we perform today. After this game, we're gonna play home against Chelsea in the Carabao Cup, and I'm gonna rotate um, as much as I can and give time to players that are coming back from the injury, like Tanalia, like Daido. Um, yeah, and give some time to players who don't really play. Christian is back as well, so slowly but surely we're getting all our uh, our our pieces of the puzzle back in. Now, obviously, they are the Reds, we are the Whites, because we are playing away and we share the same kit, basically. Sar hits the bar, hits the post. Hits the post. 12 minutes on the clock. Another highlight. It looks as if it's for West Ham again. No, we get the ball back. Now Marco Avellino plays it to Otavio, who has acres of space face to face with the keeper, and the keeper manages to get it. Even because it was a central shot. Like, he didn't even try to angle it a bit. The corner, they clear it out. Silva first on the loose ball. Silva was repla replacing Antonio in the middle of the park. The cro oh my god, that's a red. That is a fucking red, Silva. No? Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Rest them on more. Fuck. 
Let's demand more. And now nothing is happening. We have three shots on target. 55% ball possession with 78% of completed passes here. No highlights though. Two yellows, Elmo and Silva. Come on, game. Give us a highlight, something. Jesus. Daido will be replaced at the end of the first half. Conrad for West Ham. He advances, he enters the box, he shoots miles away. Miles away. But like Daido's having a bad game, Silva's having a bad game, Elmo's having a bad game. Yeah, let's score. Come on, let's score just before half time. It would be oh uh, it would have been good to score there, but we didn't. So I don't know why I keep pressing shouts instead of going to the dressing room. Uh, I'm not happy, man. I'm not happy. Come on. Daido. Marcelo will come in for him. Pinero. Let's leave Pinero for now. Uh, who else was having a bad game? Laurent Silva will put Antonio. If we got him with us, yes, we did. Just one more. Come on. Six shots on target. Two for them. First highlight of the second half. 62 minutes, 40 seconds on the clock. Orecchia tries to find Otavio. Otavio gets back possession. We lose it. And now Odubeiku. Pen. Jesus almighty. Man. We did everything possible to hand them a goal, to give them a goal. We lost possession twice and then pen. Sar again. Yes, Duren. Come on, we need to score now, guys. Come on. Uh, highlight isn't over, though. Sir, okay. Now it is, now it is, now it is. But it was saved, man. What, 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 what? Skip. Come on now. Arce to Marco with the cross. Someone, Otavio with the shot. Easy for Rivero though. Come on, come on guys. 68 minutes on the clock. We need a win here to keep up the pace with the first two. There is a slight chance that they drop points. Come on. Again, we lost position in the middle of the pitch, and now Sar. And this time it is a goal, man. Oh, dude, and again. <sighs> Fucking hell. Man City are cruising against Brighton, 5-0. I'm not removing Aldo for now. Nice one, nice one, Marco, Marco, Marco. Second time we came face to face with the keeper, guys. Marco and Otavio did that. Now, um, let's remove Aldo and put in Christian. Let's give him some time. Just one more. Liverpool are winning 3-1 against Everton. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Come on. 2-3 against Everton. Come on. 
get back the ball and go and score. Come on. Madoff. The wood in there. He's the hero. Come on, come on, come on. Nice one. Come on. Come on, Christian. Marco, can't can't Oh my god. Finally we scored, man. Finally. We did everything not to. We did everything not to, but we actually did. Jesus Christ. Look at that, Otavio almost lost possession. Then he gave it to Christian. Christian who gave it to Marco. Marco once again got anticipated by the keeper, but the keeper couldn't hold it, and Marcelo from the rebound puts it in. Man City 6 0. Everton. Come on, just score one little tiny more goal. Jose Antonio to Orecchia. Can we close it off? Orecchia with the cross directly into the keeper's hands. 88 minutes on the clock. Highlight isn't over. Possession is ours again. Come on. Otavio, 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 Otavio enters the box. Shoot! Oh my god, what a, what a brilliant save from their keeper once again. Both keepers had an excellent game, guys. Liverpool go 4-2 up and they win it now. But we won it as well. We won ours as well, which is great, which is great. A hard-fought battle. But at the end, we've managed to scrape a 1-0 victory there, which keeps us in the run. Keeps us in the run. Now, what Man United... I think they drew Man United. I think they did because uh, we were four points behind them. Actually, no, they they won one nil. Go from Rashford. Man City six nil. Huddersfield and Watford two two. Good, good. It was a good game, man. It was a hard game. I knew it was a difficult game to play. Now I'm gonna rest all my my starting eleven against Chelsea. No matter how, no matter doesn't really matter how it goes if we lose or win. Um, then I'm gonna play full team against Bournemouth because my primary focus is the league, is the Premiership. I want to win the Premiership this year. I want to win it, and then we we'll leave. Um, yeah. And uh, in tomorrow's episode, we're going to play against Paris Saint-Germain again. Uh, let's have a look at the schedule. Yeah, it's Paris Saint-Germain and... Um, yeah, Paris Saint-Germain and Barnley. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did so, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Jerry Dian. Thanks, and stay safe. Bye-bye.